does this one go? Yeah, this one goes over here. So I'll try to f I'll, I'll clean up the middle ground when we come back, I guess. Because I already missed it. Hey, where does that lead? Where do all these things go? This leads... God. See, this is this is where it gets confusing. Okay. Now we're going to clear out the middle ground. I'll, I'll do it this side. It, it gets a little confusing, but at least you're my uh, at least my mercenary is with me. That's why I like this one better. And that's pretty much the only reason. This one, I'm still not that big of a fan of. I mean, it's cool to to bring little little things like this, but to have me do it this many times is uh, well, as many times as I've done as I've done it gets very really repetitive and ridiculous. Okay, so I need to go on this one. Yes. Okay, now we can move on to another chest. Awesome. Now, the quest one is not always going to be on any given style, I guess you could say. For instance, the portal one, if I were to see the, the quest stuff here, that doesn't mean that it always shows up with the portal. It's random which side that it's on. As well as uh, what, directions, what direction it's in... Uh, Everything about it is pretty much randomly chosen. Okay. He killed it, now we can move on. I have to wait for him to kill it sometimes. <laughs> Even though it was uh, a floating enemy, I wanted it to die before I moved on. Down they go! Now we are free to go back this way. So I think we're done with the ladder? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, now I see two portals here. Uh, looks like they both lead to the same spot, though. Because these two are connected, I think. So... No, they are not. So there is still the branching path here. Let's finish up over here. Even though I don't really need to, this is technically the other side. But I need to go through here, which should take me... Yes, here. It's a yeah, sorry if you're not following along, but this is where I need to go. And this is actually where the quest is! And Al-Hazir has glitched out on me. Please come over here, Al-Hazir. I need you for this one. We've got the quest. Which is kill the summoner! <laughs> They're just like, hey, you're there. You might as well. Like, like, I, like I was going to let him live. Come on. Al-Hazir, he made it, and he cast... Summoner casts... Freaking all elements, I swear to god he does. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> Oh my god, maybe I <sighs> tortured soul. Uh rest in peach, tortured soul. Return to town for more information. I killed him in two blessed hammers. Just a two. That was awesome. There is still a chest here. And the book that we need to see. Um yeah, I guess I'll, I'll look at Horizon's journal. Seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha will find it through the portal. But know that the glowing glyphs recorded here in my arcane sanctuary are the signs of the six false tombs. The missing seventh sign marks the tomb of Tal Rasha. Of the Herodrum, he might be called the foremost. It was a shining but brief moment for the mage clans when they set aside their differences and worked together against the common enemy. The Herodrum relentlessly pursued the three across the desolate empires of the east and even into the uncharted lands of the west, leaving the Archangel Tyriel's hands unblemished. Presuming the three to be vanquished, the Herodrum's unstable fellowship began to dissipate. Abandoning their sacred charge to safeguard the three soul stones, the disparate mage clans began to squabble amongst each other over petty differences. Their conflicts not only dissolved their brotherhood, but strengthened the evils which they had buried beneath the cold earth. And it opens up a permanent portal here that leads to the Canyon of the Magi, but 
uh, I need to finish off this first. We still have one more side to go. It's gonna have a good chest. Uh, he didn't actually drop anything that I particularly, sorry, particularly wanted. The uh, stag bow's gonna suck, but it's yellow, so I might as well grab it and sell it. I mean, freaking, he dropped it. Uh, that's not the way that I wanted to go. So I need to take this one down here. There we go. So that can lead me over to this side. Freaking teleport thing. It's getting so complicated. Uh, if it points to the one that... Uh, if it points where you want to go, chances are it's the other one that you're looking for. <laughs> that is uh, just a tip. It rarely is like, oh, this one point, you know, This one points this way. It must go that way. And it does. That's just how this is somehow designed, even though I think it's random. I don't know the program, but I swear that's true. We'll have to play it now. now we've already cleared out the middle here, so we might as well pick up the gold and then go through here. <laughs> Taking us right into the clan. Right into the blood clan, I think they were. I forgot what clan they were. Either way, they died. Damn cool. And this is why it's a, a great place to level. Uh, the the summoner always drops a yellow item from what I've been able to, to see. Uh, usually he drops something good, not not a stag drop. Which, even if you're an Amazon, you're kind of like, do I really need that? And town portal. And it looks like I did get one. I got one hell clan. Sorry, not blood clan. No, these are hellish clans. Am I really already done? It seems like such a small side. Yeah, I'm done picking up the scrolls I identified for now. I got plenty and nothing to use them on. And then I need to go... Is it this way? It is that way. And we've made it back. Uh, not a fan of this one, but still not as bad as the MC Escher one. So now it's time to go back to Luca Lane one last time. And that way, I can talk to somebody about this, apparently. Let's talk. Good you gotta day. talk to Deckard Kane. You always have to talk to Deckard Kane. You must move quickly now, friend, for Diablo is undoubtedly close to finding what he seeks. Find the tomb of Tal Rasha before he frees the Lord of Destruction. I hope that this false summoner found peace in death. Unfortunately, it is more likely that he will be dragged down into hell by the demons he was bound to. Let this be a lesson to you. Demonic magic is a quick path, but its powers are seductive and deadly. Did he say that uh, the Lord of Destruction, Bale is the Lord of Destruction? Huh, that's the name of the expansion pack. Wow, oh, double quest completed. Nice. So we need to take the staff, and this is the simple, it'll always show up in your quest log. Uh, so you don't have to memorize it, especially since it was supposed to be a process of elimination thing anyway. That's very nice. What's up, Farrah? It is an honor to serve you. Yeah, I didn't think you had anything to say. Oh, that actually doesn't sell for too bad. 3300 I'll take that. Really? Okay. No more town portals for me. Let's keep going. We are getting close to the end of the act here. Back to the Arcane Sanctuary and the last path that we hadn't gone before. Now this one doesn't seem like it's going to be as simple as the the one that I was hoping for, but it's still pretty straightforward. Uh, so there are definitely four different styles here. This one just has a ton of stairs. Apparently. That's the style. I always forget about this one. Like, there's the simple one, there's the uh, the portal one, there's the MC Escher one, and oh, the stairs. The stairs. What's on the ground scepter? Oh, you guys can't hit me from here? <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, what is this? Was this lightning in my... I'll sell that. I'll sell well. Yeah, just lots of stairs that, that do the branching path. The 
the mercenary sometimes has trouble with this one, but not not nearly as bad as uh, ZMC Escher, where he had to literally walk his hand up each staircase. Die! Oh, see, look, look how complicated and convoluted these stairs can get. No wonder people, well, people. No wonder the mercenaries have trouble here. Launch two of those. Come on, circle around again. Oh, it was so close to hitting them. So close, yet so far. Die. Seriously. Thank you. And yes, El Hazir is stuck. He'll catch up, though. He'll catch up. There's a ton of scrolls over there that I, don't lo I no longer care about. I'm full. I have as many as I need. I'm ready to move on. Damn it, Al Hazir, get over here! I need you to absorb some of the damage. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the tank, and I'm doing a pretty good job of it, but still, you have to get—you have to pick up some of the damage. That's all I'm asking. Okay, here's the first branching path back to the middle. What was that? Battle axe. Have we seen a battle axe before? I don't think we have. Those things are huge. Um, now nah, just looking at it this way. Oh, it's the upgrade uh, double axe, I think. I'm thinking something else. What I'm thinking about is called the giant axe. There are more axes in this game. And in fact, uh, well. When you get to the higher difficulties, everything changes names. It's slightly fast, fancier. Like uh, the long bow turns into the cedar bow. Uh, I forget what it's called. How difficulty? I forget most of the names of how difficulty. But I know the nightmare name is pretty well. You know, everything just becomes a little bit fancier. But it uh, usually has the same. S well, it has much improved attack, and defense, and that kind of stuff. It, it's the, it looks the same, and it pretty much functions the same, just with increased stats, as you might expect in the higher difficulties, because you need it. <laughs> Otherwise, you might die. And by might, I mean will. Often. D die. Spike shield! Do not care. Come on. Oh. Come on, no. El Hazir, finish them off. Apparently, I cannot handle them with my setup right now. I am not used to having this much trouble with my paladin. Oh, we've made it to the other side. I didn't need to do that. But it shouldn't be too tough, at least this here. Gives me a chance to get my HP up again. Sorry, my life up. I will continue calling it that. I'm not even going to It's going to take me forever to learn not to call it HP or, or health. I'm gonna, yeah, it's called life in this game. <laughs> you can't change my mind after hundreds of years of me calling it HP. Wow. I wrecked house. I was lucky. Dark large axe. Can't carry the large axe. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Not most of which I can carry. Uh, I can't carry most of that. What the hell? Okay. Uh, longbow. Regular axe. All I had in there that I wanted was a regular axe. Alright. Let's rearrange some things. Uh, then I can pick up the two handed sword. Which can then go in here. For these two. And I can pick up the. X and there's a lot. How is this a l how is this a large axe, and this a regular axe? I, I don't understand. I can pick up the hand axe though. Then I can go back to town. Ah, this is going to take a while. You know what? I'm gonna finish looting and selling all that stuff, and then I'll meet you at the portal to the canyon of the Magi. Oh, I forgot. We need to run back and finish off this side. <laughs> So I'm not going to meet you at the portal to the Canyon of the Magi just yet. 
so we need to finish off this side. Nothing that I picked up was particularly good. I think all of it sold for about 300. I was considering not even picking them up, but I'm like, you know what? I might as well. I've got plenty of town portals, and I might as well, you know, spend the extra time, give myself a little bit extra gold. Nothing worthwhile, really, at all. Uh, I have finally reached the point where I'm like, you know what? Even if it's blue, there's some things I'm just not going to be picking up anymore. And this is usually the point where I get to where I reach that conclusion. I was like, I the magi, and I'm just like, yeah, it's blue, but it's just a regular dagger. I don't care. That's that's this point. Oh, come on! I'll still pick up all the yellow stuff though. Yellow stuff usually sells for a couple thousand at the minimum. Um, I say usually, but I always have to, to double check myself. I'm never sure of anything. Not when people are recording me. And by people, I mean me. Uh, let's destroy these specters. Down. There you go. One more corner. Just specters. Which apparently I have trouble with right now, for whatever reason. You, know, you can drain all his mana, because he doesn't have any. And that is it for the Arcane Sanctuary. Now, we are going to what is, by far, my favorite place to level up in this game ever, really. I like this place more than any place else. And I can't take it from there, so I'm just going to meet you on the other side. It's going to take me like a minute and a half to run there. Okay, see, now the smart thing would to do would have been to go through the Canyon of the Magi because there's a waypoint right on the other side and then come back here and then finish up. That way I could just go to the waypoint, but I wasn't smart for whatever reason. And here, like I said, here's the waypoint. The waypoint. Uh, for, uh, for the last one, actually, in this act. Uh, we are not going to be finishing as far as I think we could be. We could be finishing the act today. Well, in this session, I, sh I should say. Devours and crushes. Uh, yeah, it's a great spear. But like I said, this is my favorite place to grind for levels. Now, I don't mean this field. The field is nice. The field's okay. But, what really is awesome about this place is, if you remember, they said that there were seven tombs, six of which were false, one was Tal Rosh's tomb. Now at the bottom, we're going to find these tombs eventually, they're all up, actually. So that's why I'm clearing up down first, because we'll be going up eventually. Claws, ew. Uh, we'll be going to the tombs eventually. Uh, the tombs, all the false ones, all six of the false ones are going to have uh, really good equipment, or uh, really good enemies to fight. You know, you got the specials in there. Plus a shiny chest, a golden shiny glimmering chest to open up at the bottom of all the tombs. And they are not big at all. This is what makes this my fav favorite place to level grind. You've got pretty much within a short amount of space in a short amount of time. These are Hellcats, by the way. <laughs> and they have whips, because what else would Hellcats have? Uh, they have uh, seven... You have six... You have six glowy chests, all in the same general area, to be honest with you. And we should be coming across... Actually, no, we need, we need to go a little further. This one's a little bit too far west from where we need to go. Now, where are these where are these tombs? They gotta be around here somewhere. Just die so I can show off the tombs. They're awesome. Oh, we have to go further down this way. So there might be a little uh, lots of crushers to take on. And Hellcats back here. Just die. Oh, sweet, more. And devourer, young. I stomp on you. <laughs> Go away, I hate you. Damn, urns. Not having anything in them. <laughs> Swing around, hit him. It didn't, it didn't hit him? How did that not hit him? I mean, that sacred globe. One to blaze, sure. Now, like I said, if you get the chance, this is my favorite place to 
to level grind. And usually I do need to level grind here. A little. Not too bad. I usually can do it, like, maybe farm two or three times. Here we have the first tomb. And here's the symbol for it. Uh, that is not even close to our, like, triple V thing that we got going here to one of them's upside down. So, this is not the tomb. This, uh, Even though it says Talrash's tomb, it is not Talrash's tomb. It is one of the fakes. And this, to be honest, is one of the places where I died with my uh, current multiplayer character because I encountered these unravelers here. Uh, I encountered four champions and I hit a, right as I ran up to them, I hit a lag spike. Next thing I know, I come back, my character is dead. Not good. So I'm kind of scared of this place, just a little bit. I think I've earned the right. Holy crap, look at all these urns. I'm supposed to take me forever to kick these open. Kick! Why can't I have Yang's kick for this one? That would be appreciated. Unfortunately, that's a different game. There we go. Did you even have it? All that for 120 gold, and the rest I, I'm not even going to bother picking up. Now, like I said, these places aren't that big. There's usually three uh, branching paths. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Get out of there. That was actually harder than I remember. Oh, his ear might not make it. How you doing? How you doing? You're you're fine? Thanks. You're good? I've never had to heal my mercenary so much as I've had to this time. I probably do a little bit of level grinding usually, but I don't like doing it, to be honest with you. I like trying to go through the game as it was, I would think, intended. I assume that they don't want me to, to farm in this game, but then again, they do give you the option if you want to. And it's not hard to figure out. Alright, I got most of them. There we go. 